Hey guys, welcome back. This is gonna be a quick review on a liquid lipstick that I wanted to try from the drugstore. And when I saw that they had them on Octoly, I just jumped right in and I wanted to kind of see how it compares to other liquid lipsticks that I already have in my collection. This is by Heart Candy and it's called the Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color. This retails for $6 and the color that I got is Cherry Blossom. It comes in this cute container that you can reuse for different things bobby pins whatever you can put in here and i think it's really cute to keep in your purse so that was a plus but then the product itself it has a wonderful or a packaging that i really really like not only because how it looks but also because of the wand or the little applicator that is totally different from other ones that i've tried this far now this has like a spoon kind of thing and it's i don't know if you can see but it's tilted to one side so it, the product concentrates on one side of the one so once you apply it into your lips i feel like one time that i go in here it's more than enough i don't have to go again and reapply more product it comes with the right amount for my lips now if i want to line my lips what i do is i use the tip and since it doesn't have a lot of product in the wand itself, then I can get something really precise. Now, the product that I had before with, for example, the Meet Matte Hughes, I don't know if you can see, but um, the wand itself is thicker. And I'm comparing it to a sample size, so I don't know if this is, you know, it's good it's gonna be longer and maybe thinner in a full size but I'm just kind of comparing it with this to let you know that for me thicker ones or a thicken, thicker applicators doesn't give me enough precision to apply it on my lips and since it's a matte lipstick you know it's kind of hard to remove and I want to make sure that I do have something more precise to apply it now another thing is that in this sample sizes or in this one in particular um, it does come out a lot of product so even if you try to line your lips you have to make sure to clean the one off well because otherwise you're just going to go around your lips in a non-flattering way now as far as the formula it smells like vanilla cake butter something like that uh, you apply it and you can smell it after you know three four five minutes you can't really smell it anymore on your lips but it's really pleasant it's really sweet it's something that i really like as far as the formula this is a mousse formula so it's really comfortable i had it on my lips for about half an hour or maybe a little bit more and it still feel creamy if i had to compare it with something i would say that it compares to the matte lipsticks by maybelline um i have six of them and i do really enjoy the formula and i feel like this is pretty much the same this is a little bit more moisturizing and comfortable feeling but it's really really similar to the feeling of those matte lipsticks from Maybelline now as far as how it dries when I use a liquid lipstick that dries matte like this one like the balm one I feel like this it takes 30 seconds to a minute to completely dry this one it really takes up to five minutes to completely dry on my lips. So if you are the kind of person that want to apply in layers, you can do it with this one because it's creamy, where if you use a matte one and that it's not creamy, you know, you're not gonna be able to layer it. But with this one, you can layer it. So if you apply more layers, it will take you more than four to five minutes. But for me, it doesn't really matter. I apply on my lips and I just go on with my days. And of course, I'm not gonna drink or eat, you know, five minutes after I apply my makeup. So other than that, the only other thing that the mousse consistency does for me is after the third hour, I can see a little bit of feathering, especially if I eat or drink. Uh, if I don't, then I will see a little bit uh, rubbing off in the edges, but it's something that I can totally touch up. This is easy to touch up. It's not like you have to completely remove it to apply more product. You can apply it on top and it will look really, really good as freshly applied now that is something that i don't mind myself but i know a lot of people don't like that so i wanted to mention it just to make sure that you know that even though it's more of a comfortable formula 
it's probably because it's not as long lasting as those as those liquid lipsticks that are so dry that you know they kind of get glued to your lips until you remove them other thing that i have to mention is i don't really mind that but I don't really mind that because when I use a matte lipstick that is too dry, I feel the need to remove it after two or three hours. That's me. I'm not saying that everyone removes their liquid lipsticks after three hours, but if you are like me, maybe this would be a formula that you want to try because, you know, maybe after the third hour you need to touch up, but you don't have to completely remove it. For me, this is a total must-have, but... Here's the butt. It only ha comes in six colors, and I like the Cherry Blossom, Wisteria, I think it would look nice on me, and Dahlia. Uh, Sweet Pea is just too pink for me. I know it's not gonna work. Hibiscus is too peach, peach. It, it it's not deep it's peach and it's light and it's not gonna work for me and daffodil it looks amazing on people with fair skin but i don't see it work it for me so if i had to say one thing that um you know this is amazing formula i do really like it but i wish they had more colors that is my complaint I feel like if they had more colors, I would absolutely get more because, but it, it's like I'm confined to those three and that's it. Um, I wish I could see something more pink, but still, you know, deep. I wish I could see something more red, you know, just those things that are missing or those colors that I feel like I would absolutely buy them and keep them on my collection because I enjoy this formula. I mean, I'm not saying that I don't like the De Balm. I do like it. But I'm saying that comparing one to the other, there are differences that make me enjoy the formula of this one a lot more than the more drying liquid lipstick. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite lipstick, liquid lipstick, matte liquid lipstick. Oh my goodness. So I would like to check that uh, if I haven't already. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.